as a national committee member of the CPPCC and with my background as an investor and entrepreneur in tourism and culture. Last year, I put forth a proposal for temporary financial and tax support for the tourism industry during the pandemic. The proposed measure has been looked into by, with proportions being adopted by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, the People's Bank of China and the State Taxation Administration, having received formal support and responses from them. And with a continued focus on the financial theme this year, I am advocating for financial innovation to help the long-term development of the tourism industry. Among my five proposals this year, these include relaxing listing conditions for tourism enterprises and allowing for insurance of security as a form of financing. As a strategic pillar of the Chinese economy, the tourism sector's development is inseparable from the support of financial industry. Currently, the hotel are not classified under the tourism sector when it comes to credit support, making it hard to secure loans. So my proposal also covers uh, small medium enterprises in the tourism sector, suggesting that preferential loan uh, policies can be extended as to help bolster the sector for long-term development, bringing the tourism sector to new heights. As we all know, climate change is an urgent crisis that affects all humanity. The nation has put forth a target of peaking carbon emission by 2030 and to become carbon neutral by 2060, which are big strides being taken by one of the world's largest developing countries. Hainan is one of China's key gateways to the world. Hainan will be leading the way in demonstrating how sustainable development can be achieved in tandem with economic growth. It is an island province rich in natural resources and enjoys great weather all year round. This makes it perfect, uh, a perfect test bed for green energy and technology that will also help improve the quality of life for its residents. I am confident that Hainan will be successful in this transformation and look forward to contributing to this development. I've noticed that in recent years, the physical and health problems of students nationwide has become a topic of social concern. For example, the proportion of overweight and obese teenagers in urban areas has increased significantly, and many are suffering from poor eyesight as well, while time for exercise remains insufficient. So youth are the hope and future of the nation, therefore it is imperative to nurture our next generation to be physically, mentally healthy and strong. That's why I'm putting forth a suggestion to reform the concept of traditional physical education, making sports a lifelong interest rather than a burden for the young people. So these proposal echoes the Healthy China 2030 plan, but zooms in on specifics for educational institutions especially elementary schools, as we need to build these habits from young. So through measures such as increasing physical education class hours and specialized training by grade, in hope to cultivate uh, students' interest to treat sports exercise as a healthy lifestyle, as a habit, instead of burden pressure.